my name's Ian from Petrie's Photography. Thank you for coming across my channel. Um, I'm here to try and help aspiring photographers learn new tricks, experienced photographers and might have picked a few things up they haven't picked up before. We're all here to help each other so please do leave a comment of anything you'd like to see me cover or any tips of course. I'm here to try and develop myself as well as help you guys out as well. Um, if you'd like to actually get more of my videos please do subscribe to get some more engaging content. I have a big list of plans on um, some new contents um, regarding uh, photography, particularly around weddings and portraiture, studio portraiture, because that's what I specialise in. Um, if you do like any of my videos, please do like the video, um, because that does actually help support this channel, and feel free to share on all your social medias as well. We greatly appreciate it. If you do want to make a comment, please do, and I will respond to all your comments as quickly as I possibly can. Until then, um, let's move on to today's video. Thank you. Hi, Ian from Petrie's Photography again. Um, thank you for uh, joining me on this uh, today's uh, lesson. Uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about some basics really. Okay, If you're looking to just getting into photography, you're learning it, you might want to learn some, some basic fundamentals to move out of um, the should I swear, auto setting, uh, move on to manuals, you've got much more control. Um, so today I'm just going to be very, very, very simple on those aspects. If you're already experienced with using manual, this is probably not the video to, to watch. Please go over and look at some of the other videos. But basically, uh, there's three main settings I want to talk about today um, to start with, so I don't overwhelm people. Basically, the aperture, also commonly known as the f-stop. That controls the amount of light goes into your camera and your depth of field. So generally you'll have lenses, it will go from uh, 1.2 um, f-stop and up from there depending on the lens. The lower the number is, the more light you let in, but the less depth of field you get. So things in perspective, you've got a group of people, for example, behind each other. If you've got a low depth of field, so 2.8 let's say on your lens, you're not going to get everyone potentially in focus if it's a large group of people. Okay, you might want to shoot F8, F14 sort of range um, to get that in. Now, of course, that has an uh, effect is, of course, you're getting less light in if you've got a higher F-stop number. So you may need to actually utilise another one of the settings, ISO. ISO, the higher the number, the more light you let in, but the more noise or grain you can get to your images. As a general rule of thumb that I usually go with, depending on what your camera can go to um, maximum, I always try and keep below half of what that goes to, um, if I, you know, to try and keep the noise level uh, reduced as much as possible. So, for example, particularly during um, weddings, reception areas, churches, naturally being dark, you can't always use flash. So, therefore, you might need to up your ISO levels, get more light in the camera whilst keeping your f-stop and your depth of field as low as possible because you want to blur those backgrounds out so you need a lower number uh, f-stop for that to get your blurry backgrounds um, but obviously group se sessions it's all up to you I personally would rather have everyone in sharp in focus and not have to worry about blurring the backgrounds um, and keeping everything as sharp as possible so not having my RSO is so high um, but if you can use flash you know that really it really helps especially if you use off camera flash to get you in for lights and stuff like that the other one you've got is um, shutter now your shutter speed I'm sure everyone knows this it's captures things in motion so great for sports higher the your shutter speed the uh, easier it is to capture something dead still without any motion blur the knock-on effect of that of course that will reduce the amount of light that you also get in there so again your ISO is your friend to get as much light in the camera as well yeah. as well one sneaky little tip though is if it's a really bright day and you've got no shady area to put your clients in then if you up your shutter speed okay you can reduce the amount of light coming in but you can still use your low f stops and ISOs potentially this is another another way around getting those um, those shots um, as best as you possibly can. Obviously in another video we can talk about um, focusing and 
exposures and all that sort of things but I just wanted to touch base on those basic fundamentalities. In the meantime please do subscribe to the videos to get more content from yourself. Please do like this video and share on your social medias and I look forward to hearing any comments you may have. Till then, take care, be safe, bye bye.